Hello, my name is Clawmaster, and I am back to bring you another episode of a behind the scenes look at the mini series I produced for online for the past two months for my VTuber character Clawmaster. Now, I will be going over episode two, which is titled Answering the Call, which was a debut or voice debut of the evil villain within the series. So, that being said, let's jump right into it. All right, so to start things off, um, in terms of the idea, in terms of the direction that I wanted to take, again, going back to the last episode I did, um, explained on the on this is that, um, again, very simple, hero versus villain, villain is bad, he's going to do some bad stuff, hero, claw master is going to find a way to, to stop that. So... Again, given that I didn't have much resources at the time, what can I do to produce, or what can I, what can I have to uh, showcase the storyline? Um, and obviously, as I said before, my voice and using different ideas in terms of like an audiobook. Now, in terms of the villain himself, um, there is no name for the villain yet. Actually, um, <laughs> um, like there's an idea of what he looks like and what he what he does. But in terms of like what his name is, there's no name at the moment. Um, so it's very much a mysterious evil guy or evil person that uh, that I'm still with planning the works. But what I will say for this video um, is. For, for some reason, so I uploaded a clip of this on TikTok, and for some reason, this was the one that kind of blew up, like the very second or third uh, clip I uploaded there, and it's just like, oh, I guess I'm good at making villain, uh, <laughs> make a, a villain speech, because in this speech, again, I, I'm saying it was very much like a promo, like you know, except now with the villain responding to Clawmaster, and he um, he came across this transmission that uh, was put out there. And so now he's like very much the evil villain in terms of like, you know, don't mess with me. Do not tempt me. Uh, you do not know what you're dealing with. And he's very much the type of character that he is. He's very much, if you think about it, um, the way I envision the villain for this series or in terms of like the, the antagonist against Clawmaster is this villain uh, is basically like the kingpin from like Marvel Spider-Man or basically like uh lex luther um the the rich the the rich powerful business people that you often see in comics is kind of the same idea i'm going with this character and that he is very rich and he is very powerful he has reach he's uh that type of archetype of a villain so when he's threatening claw master with this message he's also saying that you know i have reach where you don't i have this reach of you know things that you may not even know of that i have and i am going to use it if i have to uh so that's the type of idea and feel of this villain and, and this character and in terms of you know how how to do this i, I as, as you see in the clip i use some of the old footage and then use a glitch effect to transform into this audio uh audio waves you see on screen of me talking um and the audio waves with those with the way this ads produce i actually have a program called uh hang on, hang on, uh plane nine and that is a an audio visual program that uh, that captures audio um of any sort and it will produce some sort of cool graphic so in this instance uh, it was uh, audio lines in terms of how it's been uh, manipulated and moved and I This effect was a much more better effect than I would have done by hand or by myself in After Effects um, it, got, it, it got a bunch of pre-made stuff in Play 9. Um, so if you're looking for some audio uh, Visual effect, uh, I suggest going there. It's a pretty cool program. It's free and you, you can check it out. Make sure your computer can run it. Though. That's the big key there. Um, <laughs> but um, but yeah. In, in terms of what, From what I learned, you know, there wasn't much in terms of uh, editing prowlers or editing obstacles in producing this. Honestly, I think I made this like the day before, and I I think it was very quickly. Like some of these episodes where I made them uh, in 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 successions every week. Um, we're kind of on the fly. It's just like, okay, what I gotta do? Well, what's the, 
what's the next episode going to be about and expanding the lore of this miniseries in some capacities so in some cases you know this was on the fly and just like oh i should do that or oh maybe this will work so obviously not the ideal way to do it if you're say producing a thing like with marvel or <laughs> anything like that like that sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't um but i'm happy to, to announce i do have the actual file uh of the video file with, uh, with premiere pro that i have up so i'm gonna make a slight turn here and pauses and then come back and you'll see what i did in premiere pro okay so um we're, we're back and this is the premiere pro uh version or the uh, editing part of it in terms of episode two that i did now there isn't much i can really discuss because there really wasn't anything too complicated in making this video uh again so as you can see plainly that episode one or uh, part of the uh previous episode was used it was already pre-made and i just used a glitch overlay um, which kind of with some sound effects made a good tr transition into audio visual aspect the audio visual aspect was already pre-recorded to that when i recorded it on plane nine as i said before so it was easy to kind of drop in drop out and the color wise the only thing i did with this was prior to this this is what it looked like it was a green uh color it was a green kind of Translucent, almost like the um, live stream from Final Fantasy VII remake. Um, so I wanted some, I want a different color because uh, if I'm kind of thinking about you know a simple storyline in terms of not only Final Master versus his villain, but like thematically, what can I do to kind of emphasize it even more so? Um, and the thought process was okay. What is the opposite of red? Blue. So then what I did is I made the color to blue to indicate that this is the villain. Uh, I say this and I have another character that I have that is Bob Master's friend that also wears blue. So, you know, it's a different tinge of blue I had to make. But uh, this is essentially just the idea of like, you know, okay, make it, make it more obvious in terms of this is a villain and this is also going to be his color. So this is going to be something that he's going to be rocking when he unveils debuts, I guess, per se, in the storyline. Um, but yeah, nothing too complicated. Um, I might have. Let's see. No, nothing there. Nope. Uh, transition. Yep. Just a simple fade in, fade out. Another glitch at sound effects into a simple text. Uh, kind of looked ominous. And out. So there really wasn't much in terms of uh, difficulty when it came to making this episode. Some of this was already pre made. Um, what I will say though, actually, it's not on here. Actually. Um, I did uh, get subtitles um, and the way I did this is through a, a website called Capwing which is an AI uh, generated uh, subtitle um, machine per se. What I mean by that is that when I upload a video onto the Capwing's website um, it automatically catches whatever I say on the microphone and translate that into subtitles automatically. Um, it's not 100% uh, accurate because there are times where I had to go in and actually change some few words here and there. But in general, it's pretty good. And once I have it translated on the site, I export the the, uh, the subtitles, imported it from from up here, uh, Premiere Pro. I talked today, and uh, just adjust a few things, and we're good to go. So it makes the, that that part of it much easier to, to do when producing some of these videos with, with subtitles. But yeah, I mean, like, that's pretty much about it. There really isn't much else I can say about the video. Um, yeah, it, again, like, this is something that I get. It was a very big creative obstacle to make in terms of, like, you know, what can I do with with a video or with a story that I want to tell that is very simple, but at the same time, I'm restricted to what I have, you know, a, a PNG, you know, my voice, you know, what audio visual cues I can take. So... This is very much again a very creative optical and you know i if anything else like it, it definitely made me use that creative brain uh more so than before in terms of how i make how can i make this so that's pretty much about it i hope you guys enjoy this episode uh nothing really too deep to go into but uh, again uh, uploading these weekly in a behind the scenes look at the uh footage and at the uh and the behind the scenes of what 
what would the mindset making these videos uh, uh, videos for these online series for for what it's worth whether it was one person watching or 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 a hundred two hundred or what have you so with that being said thank you again guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with episode three